In this half ice practice plan, IPH Hockey teaches puck possession, puck control, and positioning to make passes while making optimum use of potentially limited ice space. In today's drill, what we're going to be working on is our ability to protect a puck, take a puck away, and use our skills protecting it in a group setting so that we can learn how to protect it better along the wall and work under pressure. This is also part of a series of drills that we'll do in a compilation with, with others to show other skills and other ways in which we can protect pucks, get our head up, be in a position to make passes. So we've got, in this case, five players illustrated in this area here and it's separated by bumpers here. If you go with more players, you can just simply widen it out. But in our case, we're going to go with five. So we've got five, four with a puck, one without. And their job is to skate around with the puck within this area, while that player's job is to simply work to get their body inside to take away the puck. Not just slap it away, because you very often see that in the game, a player would just slap the puck away, and then it's a nothing play, really, because now no one has it. So what we try to teach is to work to get your body inside, to lift the stick, turn your hips, and be able to recover the puck in an effort to move it and skate away with it. Now as that's happening, these other players are all moving, skating around, and even though they have a puck, they too can take that puck away from each other. So it's really a good drill that teaches puck protection along the wall. It teaches your ability to have your head up and see other players coming. So we like to use this quite a bit with any age. And if you actually got to older ages, you could actually move this to the circle, never mind about the bumpers, and then they have to stay within inside the circle with the older players are probably capable of doing that. For this drill, players are going to start behind a stick that we place just above the hash marks. We're also going to set it up with four cones, one, two, three, four, and above the top of the circle. We're also going to have a pile of pucks up by the blue line. Now, a couple of things we're looking for in this drill are placement of the puck, good break turns, and always kind of trying to protect the puck as our feet are moving. Players are going to start here next to the stick. We're going to do a quick crossover, crossover back, and then a crossover start all the way up to the pile of pucks. When we hit the pile of pucks, we're going to stop and grab a puck. We're going to come inside the first cone and we're going to do what we call a break turn. Break turn is when we take our inside foot and almost form a T with our two feet. We don't want to stop completely and we don't want to just do a normal tight turn. We want to gain some momentum as we come out of it with a big crossover. So as we come through here, we do a quick break turn this way, quick break turn back the other way, break turn back the other way, and then a break turn around the top. We move our feet, come in, take a quick shot on net. A couple of important things with this drill is that we're really focusing on the actual turn itself. As I said before, we don't want to stop completely. A lot of times, a player will be carrying a puck need to get away from another player as fast as they possibly can. If we stop completely, we'll lose all of our momentum and we won't be able to get that quick step. So, in order to help combat that, we want to make sure that our players are doing a big, powerful crossover in between each cone. That'll help gain that momentum as we start to slow down a little bit. Another important thing is where we place the puck. We don't want the puck too far away from our body as we'll start to reach for it and we'll lose control. This drill also helps a lot with puck protection. We try to put the puck in a position where we can control it and still have our body in the spot and we can move to the next place where we want to go. So this is another really good drill that we can use in a small area of the ice. We can add it with two or three other drills and have a lot going on at one time. So players aren't standing still and they're using that valuable ice time. For this drill, players are going to start the line of the hash marks around the circle. We're also going to throw a cone a few feet in between the top of the circle and the blue line. First player in line is going to make a pass as he or she starts moving their feet all the way across. As we move up, the player who now received the puck is going to stay tight to the cone and we're going to leave in a quick drop pass for the player coming behind. This player is going to carry it around, the other player is going to keep shooting the skating. We're either going to take a quick shot on net right away or make a quick pass and then take a shot and drive the net. For this drill, we find that players have a hard time knowing where they should have their body before they leave the puck. A lot of times a player will carry the puck up and leave it on the inside and you'll see players bump into each other as they skate around the cone. A good tool or learning point with this is to tell the players to pretend that that cone is a player on the opposite team. In doing so, that helps players learn to protect the puck, we shield it, 
and then we drop it to the safe side where the opposite player or teammate can grab it. A couple other things that players can look out for with this drill is having their head up as they come around the cone. Sometimes we'll throw a coach in the middle with his or her stick straight out. Players will oftentimes have their head down and make a quick pass into the coach. We're looking for a quick play, but it has to be the right play. We'd like the players to either come around and make that pass right away or come around and take the shot. Another good learning point is as you come around and take the far shot, that player can drive the far pad. So we look for the far pad with the shot. This drill and the two previous drills make a really good combination. We go down here and down here, the break turn slalom. We go with the two pass drop down here and down here. In the middle, we do the takeaway game. This is again great for utilizing that valuable ice. A lot of times, teams only have a half ice sheet for practice. We can get at least 12 to 15 players going at one time, utilizing, if you're lucky, two goaltenders and another station that doesn't require a goaltender at all. 